This is example 24 in our differentiation topic. We're dealing with implicit differentiation just now. We've had a couple of examples, examples 22 and 23 on implicit differentiation. If you haven't uh, gone through them, checked it out and do so first of all. This is an interesting example because it's maybe the first time we've come across a trig function um, not just in terms of one variable, in terms of two x and y. So we have an implicit trig function. So how do we deal with that in this particular equation? So we've got an expression cos of 4x minus 3y equals 6x. So we do as we normally do, which is we set up to differentiate both sides. It's always good just to write that out. To remind us that we are differentiating in terms of only x. That's why it's good to really state it. We then have to look at the left hand side. So we have a, a composite function here. We have the inside function and we have the outside function. So the normal rule using the chain rule is differentiate the outside term first. So we have cos of some function that differentiates to negative sign of that same function. Okay, so that's us done the differentiation of the outside function. And as always with the chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is this here. Over there. So I haven't done the differentiation yet. I've just written it out because you'll notice that we have an implicit function and that's just going to take a little bit of thinking out. So I'm not going to do it just yet. On the other side, I've got the derivative of 6x, which is 6. Okay. So quite often when we're using the chain rule, we can do that extra differentiation by inspection. But I'm just taking my time to realize I've got a, a diff, um, an implicit differentiation to work out. So let's have a look and see. At the beginning, we've got negative sine of 4x minus 3y multiplied by, okay, so what is this? If we differentiate 4x minus 3y, 4x um, with respect to x, the derivative is just 4. And then we've got negative 3y. Differentiating in terms of x becomes negative 3. That's differentiating the expression multiplied by dy by dx because it's a y term equals 6. That's my derivative as part of the chain rule. I can multiply then out of that bracket, multiply everything by negative sine 4x minus 3x, 3y rather, and I get negative 4 sine 4x minus 3y plus 3 sine 4x minus 3y dy by dx equals 6. I'll oh, to try and keep my equal signs somewhat in a line. Uh, keep the dy by dx term to the left. We only have one. So we've got 3 sine 4x minus 3y dy by dx equals 6 and bring the other term to the other side, plus 4 sine 4x minus 3y. And then we can divide through by the multiplier on the left-hand side. So we've got dy by dx equals 6 plus 4 but sine 4x minus 3y all over. What's on the left hand side, 3 sine 4x minus 3y. Okay, so that gives us our derivative of the original function. And that's how we differentiate a trig term uh, of an implicit function. 